We have put together this tutorial to help you get your wireless router supplied by PowerNet up and running quickly and easily. Now when you open your router, the black box itself is your wireless router. The yellow network cable will connect between your permanent modem and your wireless router and you will need to fit a supplied adapter to the power supply. To do this, simply insert the power supply into the adapter, push down on the copper contacts, close the adapter and tighten the screws with the screwdriver. Next you need to remove a protective label that is covering the ports of your wireless router. So to do this, simply peel off the label. Now let's take a closer look at each port on your wireless router. You plug the power in here, this is the on off button and you can connect up to four other computers using network cables using these ports. You plug the permanent modem into the yellow port, this is a hidden reset button and this is a security button. For the purposes of this tutorial it is best that you ignore the security button. Now at the back of your permanent modem this is the power cable, this is the network cable running to your computer and this is the cable which runs down from your outdoor equipment. Plug out the network cable which is currently plugged into your permanent modem and plug in the yellow cable which was supplied with the wireless router. Plug the other end of the yellow cable into the yellow port of your wireless router. Next take the cable which was plugged into your permanent modem and plug it into the port next to the yellow port on your wireless router. Plug in the power cable into the power socket on your router and plug the other end into the mains. Turn on your wireless router using the switch at the back and your router will begin its startup sequence. Keep an eye on the lights at the front of your wireless router. When the blue antenna light lights up it means that your router is now transmitting a wireless signal. The eye light will flash when your router is waiting to receive an IP address from Permanet. When the eye light turns steady green, it means that it has received an IP address from Permanet. And when the power light turns green, it means that the startup sequence has completed and you are ready for the next step. At this point, the other end of the cable connected next to the yellow cable on your wireless router should already be connected to your computer. But if it is not, make sure that it is. The one light on your wireless router will flash intermittently. This indicates that information has been transferred between your computer and wireless router. At this point, it is best to check that you have internet access, so open your browser and make sure you can load web pages. Next you will need to configure your wireless router, so at the very top of your browser type in routerlogin.net. There is no need for www etc. Simply type routerlogin.net and press enter. You will then be presented with the logon screen for your wireless router. Enter the username admin in lowercase and the password is password in lowercase then click on OK. If new firmware is available for your router you will see this screen. If so click on yes. It is always best that your hardware is running the latest firmware. After you click yes your router will download the latest firmware from Netgear. This is an automated process and you have to wait for it to complete. It can take a few minutes for the firmware to download. After the firmware has downloaded, it will be installed to your wireless router. Again, this is automated and you simply have to wait. When the installation of the firmware is complete, your router will restart and you will be presented with the login screen. Once the logon screen reappears, enter the password again. Password, all lowercase, 
and click on OK. You are now ready to set up your wireless router for use with the permanent network. From the menu on the left hand side, click on wireless settings. Then choose a network name for your network. This can be any name you wish and this name will appear on your list of wireless networks later on. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have called our network your network name. Select Europe from the pull down menu under region and set the channel to 4. Click on WPA PSK and this will apply security to your router. Choose a password. By setting a password for your wireless router it means that nobody else can access your network without your permission. If you leave your network open it means that anybody can log on and use your internet. Once you have chosen the password click apply. Your router is now set up for the permanent network and the next step is to determine which version of Windows are you running. The quickest way to determine the version of Windows you are running is to look at the bottom left of your screen. If you see Start and the Windows logo, then you are running Windows XP. If you see a round circle, similar as shown, and the circle goes beyond the horizontal line of the taskbar, then you are running Windows Vista. And when you click the Start button, you will see a menu similar to what you see now. If you are running Windows 7, then you will notice that the Start button is within the horizontal taskbar. And when you move the mouse over it, it shimmers. It can be easy to confuse Windows 7 and Windows Vista. However, if your computer is very new, then it will probably be running Windows 7. If you are uncertain, it's best that you consult the user manual that came with your computer.